I did take arranging uh, lessons in high school uh, from a tutor from Berkeley School of Music, but she would be horrified by most of my records. Uh, she always wanted me to just make the melody the thing you're listening to, but I always want to do counterpoint. I always want to have the holes between. It, you have to breathe, so there's always holes between between lines, and I always want them to be filled like they are in ABBA. Um, in ABBA, every second, you know what they intend you to be paying attention to. It's so meticulously crafted, and apparently that's basically because Benny Anderson always wants to add another track and always wants to layer more on and the engineer has to <laughs> erase or mute things that yeah um so my arranging teacher would not be proud of me i think the thing is that what she tried to drum into my head is exactly what i what i resist doing simplicity but um on quickies she'd be proud of me because it's basically a voice and a ukulele or something like that. A, a voice and one other thing. She would like that. Oh, not at all. I, I had my first electric guitar when I was 10. I took lessons on piano and guitar and percussion as a child. So the first synthesizer I had was long after I had learned to play other instruments. So I also uh, I had recorder lessons as, as well, and I think they're right to teach children recorder. For one thing, there's only so horrible you can sound on a recorder, unlike violin, where you can you can be unbearable. The recorder is uh, forgiving. It's okay if you're a little flat. You're never going to be perfect anyway. Like ukulele, the recorder is the the ukulele of the monophonic instruments. I have never had writer's block until recently. I got COVID on the first day of the World Health Organization announcing the pandemic, March 11, 2020. And uh, my brain hasn't been working properly ever since. Just this week, I finished a lyric for the first time since I got COVID. Fortunately, I have notebooks full of hundreds of songs lying around. So it wouldn't actually matter if I never wrote another song. I'm still not going to be able to put them all on records before I die. So my mechanism for dealing with writer's block is to wait. That's my only mechanism. The thing is, I, I guess I don't have writer's block. I just haven't been able to finish anything. I can start because the way I write songs is I sit in a bar and I respond to the music I'm hearing and the conversations I'm hearing. If Do the Hustle is playing on the sound system and someone is having a conversation about movies, I may think of what kind of movie would have the theme song of The Hustle. What other songs would be in it? Like, Let's Stay Out All Night. Okay, well, that's a decent title. I'll try and write a song called Let's Stay Out All Night. So because I work from combining other things, I don't feel like there's a blank page in front of me that is intimidating. Often I will actually put something on the page, like a doodle or a word, so it's literally not blank when I'm starting. And w when I get a notebook, I go through and number the pages before there's anything on them, which contaminates the notebook in a way that I'm never intimidated by the white page. It's already got something on it. So yeah, I, ha I have techniques for dealing with writer's block, but I've never actually had writer's block until COVID. I can still start. It's just I have a hard time focusing well enough to finish. Deadlines help. That, yeah, deadlines are good. Deadlines are good for for forcing yourself to be finished. To say, well, it's Tuesday, so I have to be finished. It doesn't sound good, but it's Tuesday, so I have to be finished. How can I quickly make it sound good? I know. I'll turn down everything except the reverb, and it will all be in a cave, and it sounds great. <laughs> it's a cheap trick, but I need a cheap trick because I'm, it's Tuesday, and I have to be done. Uh, so... I love deadlines. Mm -hmm. 
I like Charm of the Highway Strip for literally traveling while listening to it. I don't remember whether that was my intention when I was making it. I don't usually have favorite things, but Charm of the Highway Strip is my favorite Magnetic Fields album because it works so well with a road going by, with a landscape going by. For me, that, that makes it a, a particularly special experience. And it's only half an hour long, which is, which is good too. Oh, Sunset City, I've got to see the world.